Hi, everybody. Welcome to Topper Tuesday. This is going to be a beautiful topper that I'm going to be sharing with you guys. As the title says, it is Top Billing by Raquel Welch in Shaded Biscuit. Those of you that are looking for a topper that has a bang, a lace front, you're going to want to stick around. <laughs> Okay guys, yes, I'm gonna be sharing with you Raquel Welch Top Billing. This is in Shaded Biscuit. It's a topper, and yes, it is a lace front. As you may know, I have been pretty new to this whole topper thing. I've tried a few now, and I'm not done because I am really curious about a few others as well. But I have found for me personally, Unlike wigs, I'm finding that I prefer the non-lace front for toppers. This one is a lace front and it has a bang. So um, I don't know, I'm having a hard time getting used to dealing with lace fronts with toppers. And I'm gonna explain to you why I struggle with that a little bit. But that does not take away this gorgeous topper and, and what it does offer you. Many of you absolutely adore lace fronts with your toppers and you're really curious if there are any out there that have a bang to them and this may be your ticket. Now, this, I'll show you the tag here. Here we go. Top billing in the shaded biscuit which is the 19-23 ss i still love the rooting the rooting has to be a thing for me even with my toppers i just think that it just i don't know it just looks so so realistic so i love the shaded biscuit color it's probably my second favorite blonde uh right up there with honey with chai latte i also love that blonde as well but before I get into what works for me and what doesn't with this one, let me show you what the cap and stuff looks like on this. This is a beautiful length. I'm going to put all of the details down in the show more box. So I will, um, I bought this from Name Brown Wigs. So basically I'm going to copy and paste all of the details of this down there. If you want to know the exact length, all of the details look there. And I'll also put the link to this wig. Um, this one uh, is, of course, longer than what I need it to be, so I will be trimming it. But before I do that, I wanted to show you what it looks like right out of the box so you don't have this weird sense of what the length is because I've already trimmed it. So, uh, beautiful. This is the True to Life Fibers in Raquel Welch line. That means that they are heat friendly, so you can put some gentle heat to this. Um, and because they are heat friendly, they are so realistic. Nothing has to be done, in my opinion, with the shine, no dry shampoo needed, and they feel absolutely realistic. So gorgeous. But the trade-off with these HD fibers is the longevity. I, I don't know how that's going to equate with these toppers because much of what happens with the breakdown of any synthetic fiber quite honestly is friction you know makes them break down and that happens a lot of time in the nape area uh, and these don't have a nape area you know I mean you know they stop right there depending though on the length you still will get friction so my guess is that they're going to start breaking down here at the bottom you may have to trim them a little bit as uh, time goes on to get some wear out of them beyond that but i have not worn these long enough to tell you if i'm getting more um, of a, a, a longer wear with my toppers even though they are hd fibers so i will keep you updated with that so gorgeous let me show you what the cap looks like here. This has a lace front, so there is not going to be a center clip here in front, which I find really hard to deal with. I love that center clip I have found. So this, of course, can't have one because there is this gorgeous lace front here. But it does have those extra wefts that go all the way around just just a few of them here and I love that gives me more coverage gives a really nice natural crown um, and I love that feature when there are a few wefts um, you know 
as part of the topper. And of course, we have this mono top, which is a full mono top. You can part it in any way you want, and that is a must. Plus, it gives us a very realistic part, you know, into the, the scalp look of our topper, which is essential with toppers because, you know, I mean, we want it to look as realistic as we can, right? So uh, beautiful. There's no complaints whatsoever with the construction of this at all. And we have clips here. So we have two and then we have two here toward the bottom, four in total. Okay, now one of the, the details that you'll probably want to pay attention to when you look at specs with these toppers is the weight of them. The more hair, the more coverage, it's going to be a little heavier. So if you have very strong bio hair, it could be very fine and thin, but still healthy, um, you know, that's good. But if you don't, you're going to want to choose toppers that are quite light because, you know, if they weigh more, they're going to be putting a little bit more of a, um, you know, resistance there where they clip in. And you're going to want to take that in consideration because <clears throat> that could become quite uncomfortable for you and where you clip in your clips. So pay attention to how much that topper that you're interested in how much it weighs because those few couple ounces can make a big difference on the comfort. Okay, so I'm not going to go into, you know, all anything else uh, beyond showing you the cap there until I put this on. So let me go ahead and put this one on for you. Okay, I got my, my uh, topper off there that I was wearing. Now, this is a lace front, guys. I'm going to tell you something right now. If I'm going to be wearing a lace front topper, I'm still I can guarantee you, I will still be using my It Stays. There is not enough security in these toppers with just using the clips. I have found to comfortably wear a lace front topper without using the It Stays because, you know, these two clips essentially are going to be what kind of keeps things there. And unfortunately, this these two clips here are going to be clipping into, now I have some fill-in powder here, but where, you know, I'm very, very sparse, which is my temple area. So I have found trying to secure a topper like this that doesn't have a center clip because there's a lace front there, I found that they don't feel the most secure, you know, and they do move a little bit. I don't like that at all. So I would still use my It Stays like I would if I were putting on a wig um, with a lace front topper. I want that extra security for sure. But I'm not going to do that right now. So because, you know, this is a lace front topper, I'm going to pull this hair back because we're not going to be able to really work our natural hair in because also this has a bang. If it didn't have a bang, I would fold that lace a little bit and put it a little bit far back and still work in my hair. Um, but this has a bang, so can't, can't really do that with this one. Okay, so I have all of the clips open and ready here. I make sure that my... Um, my tags here are going to be laying against my scalp. And I am going to put that lace where I want it, making sure that it is straight. Excuse me, let me move this a little bit more this way so I can make sure everything's going to be straight. Hold up. Okay, so we got it straight. Going to get it centered. Going to put that lacing right where I want it. Make sure these line up. I'm going to just really gently <clears throat> secure these side ones in right away. I'm going to take this. I'm going to go to one of the back side ones here. Stretch it down a little bit because there are a couple wefts. Wait till it's flat against my head and secure it. I find that if I clip it a little too soon before they're flat, they become a little too tight. So that is that. And again, right where these side ones are here, that's where I am the most sparse. And so they don't do a whole lot, to be honest, um, especially where they're placed with this particular topper. So it would be essential for me to put in some It Stays right here, a little bit back. I would press it in and really smooth it out a few times. That way I know that lace is not moving and buckling or anything like that. So that's what I would do there. 
but all of this is our own hair. Now I am aware, people, that my natural hair is way too short for this style. So I am aware of that. And I would definitely be trimming this gorgeous topper uh, to work well with my natural hair, if you know. Now, isn't it gorgeous? This is Shaded Biscuit, guys. This is significantly lighter than the Shaded Praline, which is this one here, as you can see. Significantly lighter, brighter. I love it for the summertime. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful color. Um, really brightens up the face and everything. Anyway, Raquel Welch, she does these lace fronts beautifully. Of course, this is a topper, so the lace front literally stops here and here because we have our own natural hair here that we can work in. So uh, another thing I want to mention is my natural hair color, even though it's not highlighted or blonde or anything at the moment, it blends in really well with the shaded praline, I think. And so I haven't rushed out and done anything about that right now. But with this shaded biscuit color, it doesn't. So for me to wear, I don't know, for me to wear this comfortably even after I trimmed it, I really think I would want to color it, uh, you know, with blonde with some bright highlights in there to really get this color to work for me, sadly, because it just does not work like I can get away with it with my shaded praline. So keep that in mind. I am aware of that. I'm just showing you this for those of you that have been so curious about the ones that maybe have a lace front with the bangs. Okay, so I'm gonna see if I can get this to secure a little more. Fortunately, I just don't have a lot of hair there. So, and I want it to be comfortable. Uh, anywho, okay, let's look at this now. Isn't it gorgeous? Now, there is a little bang here. I say that and I, and I, I just want to make it clear that it's not like a full-on bang. It's very subtle, which I happen to like because I can push it to the side. It's light enough to where, you know, I can kind of bring it down and, you know, work it into the side here. And I really, really was pleasantly surprised with the bang. I was a little afraid to order this one because you know how I am. I do not like full-on heavy bangs um, in my wigs or anything, but this is gorgeous. I love these true to life fibers. They're light, they're airy, they come off the cap beautifully all by themselves. So realistic. I get a nice, you know, kind of pretty look and very natural. It just doesn't just lay right flat on the cap. And um, so pretty, so pretty, you guys. It's, it's really pretty. Okay, so as you can see, this one, you know, it, it, it definitely comes down uh, at a good level here. Okay, so this one has some really pretty phrase, phrase, face framing, very light kind of layers that will just look so natural. And it's so lovely and feminine, soft, not, you know, where you have maybe a little bang and then it comes down very straight. It's just very soft. It's, it's so pretty. Let me show you the coverage of this one. I have not combed or brushed this in yet. So this is my right side. Let me push this back a little bit. So this is my right side here. And my left side, again, guys, I am aware that I don't have a long enough hair for this and my hair color is very wrong for getting away with wearing this one. And this is the back. This one comes, now the other thing is, is that this is a lace front. You're gonna have to wear it there, you know? And so you gotta kind of bring it forward depending on, you know, where you need it to be to work, but you're still bringing it forward pretty good. So even though we have these extra little wefts, this still stops, this stops right here. That's pretty high. So, um, I kind of wish that they would have added just a couple more wefts back here. 
um, and that way we would get a little more coverage and the crown I think would be placed perfectly but I have found and I have a high forehead so I I feel like I'm very you know like the placement of this is probably reasonable whereas maybe those of you who have a, a lower forehead you'd have to even bring it down a little further causing you know this to maybe even be up a little higher but anyway I just wanted to to bring that to your attention because the coverage of this in back isn't the greatest and I was surprised at that and that's another reason why I think it's crucial to be able to match your hair color to this color to get this topper I think to work the best um, but anyway I'm still going to trim this probably just a tish longer than my natural hair for now because it will grow a little bit for the summer but I'm not going to be wearing it much longer than this because I'm trying to catch up the layers so I'm going to keep trimming it and trimming it and trimming it as it grows so I will probably still you know trim this probably right about here which I think will still be very soft and again we have these really kind of gentle um, soft layers around here in the face so that's really nice now for me that I'm not a huge bang wearer, I still think I would probably wear this a little bit away from my face here. So that's why I really like that this bang is very soft and there's not a ton of it. If you do like your bangs, you could very easily, you know, trim in more of a bang here. <clears throat> you could trim in a little bit more of a heavier bang. Um, so you can really have your bang very very easily plus now you have this really nice guide that they've given you to be able to you know trim a little bit more just be careful less is more always use less hair than you think you need and always go a little longer than you think you should just kind of Jill's little rule of thumb there <laughs> when you're trimming on these wigs and toppers there's no going back once you snip I have ruined a topper believe it or not just recently by cutting it too short all the way around so even I messed up with my little tip of trimming it longer than you think you need it I thought I was but I wasn't so anyway gorgeous gorgeous absolutely gorgeous I think we can all agree how gorgeous this topper is again I was a little disappointed though in the coverage in the back um, it it's very similar to the easy part um, here by John Renault, but I don't know. I still feel like I get a little bit more coverage with this one in back. And then, of course, I have my top notch, which gives me even a little bit more coverage than this one. But um, I feel like this one is very similar to the coverage that I get with the Belle Tress topper that I have. Um, you know, the Honey with Chai Latte. Very similar there. Uh, I could experiment with my Easy Crown just to see if maybe, you know, I could get a little bit more coverage. But something that may be helpful for those of us that really love this one, but it doesn't give us quite the coverage, is experiment with extensions. You know, see if you can match some extensions to this color. And with the, you know, this being a heat defiant, you'd want either human hair extensions or HD extensions or something and get something very very similar and then maybe you can work in some extensions you know to see if and then trim where you need to see if you can fill in and uh, feel more comfortable wearing this if you're like me and you feel like it needs a little bit more coverage back there oh, isn't she gorgeous so so pretty I really adore this um, color. I think the rooting is done really beautifully. It's definitely an ashier color than the rooting and general color of the Shaded Praline. So um, for those of us that, that really may be uh, liking the ashier colors, uh, the Shaded Biscuit is definitely all over an ashy, ashier blonde than than the uh, shade of praline here in the John Renault line. Um, the rooting color, as you can see, this is a number eight root here. And this is definitely an ashier uh, root color as well. So it's not as warm 
as this one. Don't know if you can see that. Uh, so if you like your blondes and you're looking for something a little lighter than this, a lot lighter actually, than the shaded praline, something maybe a little bit more ashy, this be a good choice for you in both the wigs and the toppers. Now, good luck though, because especially in the wigs, this color, Shaded Biscuit, is very difficult to get your hands on because they're all it's always on back order. You gotta be patient, unlike myself, if you wanna score a wig in this color. Toppers, for some reason, you know, they're, they're a little easier to get your hands on. So for those of you that enjoy your toppers, that's a good thing. It, it goes off the cap so naturally. It lifts away from the head, which to me is um, really important to not look wiggy or toppery. Like, yeah. Um, but again, as pretty as it is here, you turn around and it really kind of leaves us a little bit, you know, I don't know, falls short when it, when it comes to what it gives us in the back. And I wish it would have kind of matched up with what's going on in the front that we, that I love so much. So that's my summarization of this one. Okay, guys, that is it for Topper Tuesday this week. I hope this is helpful for those of you that have your eye on this top billing. If you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer them down there in the comment box. Okay, guys, we'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.